So I'll be showing you how to convert a JPEG image file to the WebP format. So I have a JPEG file here. If you right click and check properties, you can actually see this is a JPEG file. Now I'll be showing you how to convert this to WebP file format online. So what you want to do is launch your favorite web browser and then go to this specific website, imageconverter.site. Now this is a very elaborate online image converter tool that you can use. Now, of course you can use any that you want, but personally I prefer this and I recommend this to anyone trying to convert quickly. So what you wanna do on this website is click on browse files and then that will open the file explorer, navigate to where you saved your JPEG file. Now here's mine, so I'll just uh, select it and then click on open. Immediately, that file is going to be uploaded to this website. Now, once the upload is complete, it will tell you it's complete and the, this bar will turn green. The next thing you want to do is choose the format you want to convert to. So convert to is a drop down menu here. Click on the drop down arrow and then select WebP. And then at the bottom, choose the quality of the final product okay the default is set to 80 percent you can reduce that to whatever you want or if you're like me and you like the best quality you can just scale it up to a hundred percent and then once you do all those you can now click on convert might take a second or two of course depending on the size of the image file so just wait for it to do its thing once it's done you can actually see the image is now a .webp file format. All you have to do now is click on download. That's going to open the file explorer again. Choose where you want to save your webp image file. I'll just choose, uh, I'll just save mine in the same folder, so I'll click on save here. But of course, you can save it wherever you want. Okay. So choose save. Wait for the download to complete, and that's it. Now, if you go back into our file explorer you should see two images all right so we have this webp file which is our final product and then we have the original uh jpeg file and you can see it's exactly the same file so if we try and open it you can see it's exactly the same file so we have the webp file here and if we scroll, it's gonna open the JPEG file and you can see they look exactly the same and the same quality. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below and good luck.